as our Fevremont suffered, without a true monarch to guide her and her people. Decades have passed since last His Majesty Erland sat atop the Draken throne. Long have we endured, yet it has not been for naught. At last, the bell has tolled on the age of the Consul. At last, we may celebrate the coming of our rightful ruler. The return of the sovereign. <laughs> 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 oh my. my word, such an inspiring visage. Your majesty shall have my eternal yeah, fealty. Your no majesty. Eternal. Of how long I have waited this moment. It's the rightful inheritor of the Draken Throne, chosen by the dragon as its enemy. Behold and rejoice! Fortune has delivered us our savior at last! At last! Praise be, for only the Sovereign's guidance can lead us true. All hail the Sovereign! All hail! Let all present pledge their allegiance to the Sovereign let us be united in the hope that our liege's reign will near end. Long live the Sovereign of Vermont! Long live the Sovereign! Arisen, thou who wouldst slay the dragon, if thou seekest to behold this world in its true aspect, abandon thy reason. Cast aside thine heart and thy life both. I ask thee to demonstrate thy will, for naught but thine ambition can alter the course of the rivers of fate. Which one of you was it? No need to be shy. I've just got to take down a record of your name and face. Come on, step forward. Is it you? No? Hmm, it is hard to say. The pawn I'm looking for doesn't come forward. Are you the one then? Aha, uh -huh. I thought I recognized you.
I ill like that look in your eyes. Tis queerly brazen for a pawn. Most of your kind have eyes blank as a cadaver's. Mayhap tis only natural seeing as how you rise from the dead. There's aught different about you, though. Could it be that you fear death just as we mortals do? Worry not, Vessel. Three days here, and you'll be longing for death's sweet embrace. Come along, you feckless dullards! your pity. Don't look at me that way. I've no need of your pity. Learn your place, Horn. The best quality a soldier can have is loyalty. All I've got left, my aches and pain. Wearing armor all day feels like a punishment. This is a bit much for me. I'd best head home. Do your injuries pain you? Pray, do not overexert yourself. This is no place for one of your ilk. Tis harsh beyond measure. Even we pawns are pushed to the brink. You ought not anger the overseer. Let us proceed to the site. I'd rather not draw steel if oh, I can my joints have been aching something fierce. Time for you to get to work. You are prepared to work. Then you ought begin by carrying stones out from the station in the back and bringing them here. is quite cluttered. Pray leap, or aught that poses a hindrance to you. Is aught watching me? Job well done. 
Now the next step is to... What is this commotion? Perhaps we ought to investigate. could survive a fall from this height. Not even a pawn.
Great. Keep your distance, Arisen. Worry not for me. The grind may swallow me whole, but I will not perish. There is a stone not far from here, known as a Rift Stone. Pray, seek it out. If you're truly the Arisen, then our paths will surely cross again. Oi! Are you all right? What happened here? A griffin appears one moment and falls the next. And now you stand before me. Was it you then? The one who was riding on its back? It is a wonder you survived. Accompany me to the stronghold. We'll treat your wounds and hear your story. Right on the nest to clean up. Who knew there'd be a cavern round here? A single bolt from a ballista. And well aimed at that. Must be one of Sarah Linnets from out of Melv. Still, I can hardly believe it. A griffin of all things here. Add to that the recent dragon sighting. It is said that the arrival of the Sovereign portends an age of peace, yet only trouble has followed. What does it all mean? I had thought being in the Border Watch would make for easy work, but the wind's beginning to blow in a fell direction. Where exactly is this jail you say you escaped from, anyway? I've never heard of such a place. There's certainly naught like that here in Vermont. Could it be you were held in the neighboring country of Batal? Nay, I suppose that's unlikely. We've been estranged from Batal ever since the war. It is difficult to imagine any citizen of Vermont being sent there. Fine! Goblins! Let's take up your weapons, sir! You'll be needing it. If you find your strength flag, buy the curative or have a bit of green. <laughs> When one of the fiends comes, best guard or dodge and shoot the soul on the morrow. Make use of the slope. It will give you an advantage against their ranks. Boy guarded attacks to get the enemy to flinch. Lander attacks are more destructive, but will leave you vulnerable. We're not squeamish about picking at their bones, that is. Have you beheld the dragon as yet? I've not, and I count that a blessing. All I know for sure is that it is a beast ever more fearsome than a griffin. One need only look to the miserable state of the village of Mel to see that. We 
can but hope that the Sovereign will rid us of its airlong. Welcome, Arisen. We pawns have long awaited your arrival. What is this? Pawns. They bend the knee to you so readily, but then... No. Surely you cannot be the Arisen. You seek the Riftstone, do you not? We can take you to it. Pray. Come this way. Before you stands a rift stone. Tis a gate by which we of the Pawn Legion may cross o'er into this world. Pray, summon your pawn. Simply paint with your mind's eye the loyal attendant whom you would have serve you. This world is connected to innumerable other realms beyond the rift, which pawns, such as myself, are able to traverse. My kind is duty-bound to serve you, Arisen, and to use the knowledge we glean in these distant worlds to your benefit. I myself look forward to traveling alongside you and using my experiences beyond the rift to enrich your adventures. Well, I'll be a pawn summoning before my very eyes. You truly are the Arisen, then. Strange. I thought the Arisen was in the capital. Surely there's only meant to be one Arisen. Fie, this is all beyond my ken. The Watchhead would know what to do, I'm sure. Though, as luck would have it, he's away. I suppose we'll save any further questions till the Watchhead returns. You're free to do as you like afore then. What? You've no memories, you say? Mayhap you could make for Melv, then. It was set upon by the dragon not long ago. The Arisen is said to bear some deep connection to the dragon. Should you be Arisen, mayhap you'll recall aught of import there.
Hail, Arisen. Pray, ask all you wish to know. I shall answer, if tis within my power to do so. Nomads, we are oft called. Born in other worlds, we travel here by means of the rift stones that we might aid you, Arisen. However, I cannot speak as to our true nature, for I know of it not. None of us do. We do not need to. We merely do as we are commanded. Rift stones are gates that connect this world to a multitude of others. By their power have we crossed into this world. And when our mission is done, by their power shall we return to our own. Tis the name given to fates chosen, those destined to command the Pawn Legion and safeguard the world from the threat of the dragon. Even with your memories lost to you, I am afraid you cannot escape your fate. Very well. May fortune speed you on your way, Arisen. I have a knack for gathering items, and am ever on the hunt for new finds. I'll gladly try out any useful mechanisms I espy. Tis a pleasure to meet you. My talents lie in combining materials, and I'll use those in my possession to craft things for you in my spare time. A well-organized pack is my speciality. Master, I've naught more to say. Pressing me further shan't change that. I trust aught's well, sir. I don't much care who you are. I'm busy enough with my own goings on. Sets my thoughts down dark path as this place. Fancy a gander? First I find goods for sale. Then master works I'm nodding off. Well met. Much oblige. It takes two to make a sale, and this seller had nothing to tempt us with. Up going out, are you? You sure that's a good idea? You seem rather unwell. You ought at least rest for the evening. There should be a spare bed in the lodgings yonder. Only don't go rushing off before you're ready. Take it from me. You're better off resting while you have the chance. This ladder can take us to new heights. Hoi there. You seem well tired. Tell you what, you can stay here tonight free of charge. I'll expect coin from tomorrow, mind. 
My pa always used to say, there's naught a good night's sleep can't fix. Not much else I can offer, I'm afraid, but you'll find all sorts at a finer inn. Aye, being armed is better than being defenseless, even if you're untrained. Still, it is worth devoting yourself to a vocation if you can. Opens up new doors, it does. You should stop by the inn in Melv if you get the chance. No hard feelings if you prefer it. They've much more to offer. I have no issue falling asleep, even at this time of day. Pleased to make your acquaintance. Please dispense with the formalities. They exhaust me so. Hey, oh, you a soldier? It would be a surprise to see you arrive in one piece if not. Hordes of monsters have been plaguing this area of late, you see. We've had to start sending out new recruits to cull them. Is that so? Who went yonder? Lachlan. But I dare say he'll fare all right. Aye, I expect he will. Who was sent out that way then? Accardo. Be on it. What? Weren't harpies reported in that area? The lad can't handle those beasts on his own. This is the first I'm hearing of it. Fine. I want to go to his aid, but we can't just abandon our posts. Say, you seem stout of heart. Would you be willing to go in our stead? It isn't far. Only a short ways out from the main gate. You've my thanks. And Ocado's as well, I'm sure.
We ought not to dawdle when our aid is sorely needed.